In the world of audio, two heavyweights battle it out, dedicated sound cards and onboard audio chips. But are dedicated sound cards always better? Let's break it down. A dedicated sound card is like that overachieving cousin in your family who only focuses on one thing. It's a separate piece of hardware that you install onto your computer with the singular purpose of handling all things audio. It's got its own processor and memory dedicated solely to producing the best sound possible. On the other side of the ring, we have the onboard audio chip. This one's the multitasker in the family, a jack of all trades. These chips are integrated directly into the motherboard, sharing resources with other components. They're the audio equivalent of juggling while riding a unicycle. One might think that the dedicated sound card, with its sole focus on delivering audio, would naturally outshine the onboard audio chip. But hold that thought. Now let's dive into the perks of each contender. On one hand, we have dedicated sound cards. These cards are like a symphony conductor, ensuring every note hits just right. They offer better sound quality, making them a favorite for audiophiles. They also support more audio channels, perfect for those surround sound movie nights. And let's not forget, these cards take the audio processing load off your CPU, freeing it up for other tasks. On the other hand, we have onboard audio chips. These chips might not be the lead vocalist, but they sure know how to hold a harmony. They're cost effective, saving you a pretty penny for your next tech splurge. They're also space savers, neatly integrated into your motherboard without taking up an extra slot. And for the average user, their sound quality is more than sufficient, delivering clear audio for your everyday needs. So, you see, each has its own set of aces up their sleeve. But does this mean one is superior to the other? Here's the surprising truth. Dedicated sound cards don't always sound better than onboard audio chips. You heard it right. For the average listener, the difference in sound quality between these two can be as negligible as a whisper in a whirlwind. It's like trying to hear an ant's footsteps amidst a rock concert. Sure, dedicated sound cards can offer more features, and yes, they can handle more complex audio tasks. But will you, as an everyday user, actually notice? It's a bit like buying a supercar to go grocery shopping. Overkill, right? Furthermore, the higher cost of dedicated sound cards doesn't always mean you're getting a superior audio experience. It's not a case of you get what you pay for, it's more like you get what you need. And for most of us, onboard audio chips fulfill our needs just fine. In the end, it comes down to your specific needs and budget. But remember, don't judge a sound by its card or chip.